In today's episode, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about the Figma pen tool and show you how to start using it like a pro. Let's begin. To select the pen tool, you can either head over to the toolbar and just click on this pen icon, or alternatively, you can hit P on your keyboard. And now that it's selected, we need to start creating a node or a point. If I just left click once, I create a node right here, as you can see, it's indicated by this blue circle. And now if I move my cursor around, I can create another point or another node and it creates a line because two nodes create a simple line just like that. And after that, you can just move your cursor around and keep adding points just like this. But sometimes you don't want to connect this point to the current selected point. In that case, you can hit escape on your keyboard and now you can freely move around and create your next node somewhere else, maybe here. I'm going to hit escape and create another node right here. Keep in mind that you can also hover over this line just like this. And as soon as you do that, a plus icon appears right below this pen tool icon. I'm going to left click and there we go. Now we have one node added in the middle of this line. Up until now, we just created simple lines. And when you do that, you just get a stroke. So you can change the thickness, you can change its color, etc. But what if you want to create a closed path? In that case, you need to close your path just like this. Let me create a path like this. And you just need to connect this point to the first node you created. Just like this, you create a closed path and now you can go ahead and add a fill to it and just change the color to whatever color you want. One common mistake that I see many beginners make is that when they try to create two nodes, they left click and drag. When you do that like this, when you left click and drag simultaneously, it creates a curve. So if you don't want to create a curve, make sure to left click and let it go. And obviously, if you want to create a curve line, you just need to left click and drag. While you're using the pen tool, you enter the edit mode. And while you are in the edit mode, the toolbar changes here. As you can see, we have a few tools right here. We have the move tool, which allows you to move these nodes around just like this. We have the pen tool that you can select using the P shortcut. Then we have the bend tool. This tool allows you to make a curve. Imagine you created a simple line. Let me just get rid of these lines. I'm going to create a line just like this. And now imagine you want to make it curved. In that case, I'm going to select this node. I'm going to select the bend tool. By the way, the shortcut for the bend tool is the command or control key on your keyboard. And I'm going to click and drag just like this. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing for this top node like that. And using these handles, you can simply adjust the angle however you want. But what about this tool? This is the paint bucket tool. Let me create a closed path here. I'm going to create a simple square just like this. And also I'm going to connect this node to this node right here. If you want to add a fill to these triangles within this square, you can simply click on this paint bucket tool. And if you just hover over these triangles, as you can see, they will be highlighted. So I can left click and I can fill it with a color. I'm going to change it to red. And for this one, I'm going to change it to something else like that. Now imagine you want to bend this particular node. You can simply select the bend tool, left click and drag. If you take a look at the design panel on the right side, here under the vector section, we have this drop down menu with three options available. We have no mirroring, mirror angle, and mirror angle and length. Let's see how these work. Here, I'm going to set it to mirror angle and length. If I select the bend tool and I just click on this node and drag just like this, as you can see, it created two handles and it tries to mirror what I do on one side on the other side as well. Look what happens, you see? And here we have the length. So the length of these two handles is the same, allowing you to create a symmetrical shape. But sometimes you don't need to mirror the angle and length. In that case, you can hold down the option or alt key on your keyboard, left click and drag. And now as you can see, it's set to no mirroring. Now let me show you another example. I'm going to create another shape here, just like this, a simple shape like that. 
Sometimes you might need to remove one of these nodes for any reason. In that case, you just need to select the move tool, select your desired point and hit delete on your keyboard. But when you do that, you'll open this path because it removes these two lines, right? But what if you don't want to open this path? In that case, once you select this node, you just need to hit shift and delete like this and it tries to keep this path closed. It tries to heal the path. The other thing I'd like to point out is that you can measure the distance between your points. How? Let me show you how it works. You just need to select it and hold down the option or alt key on your keyboard. And now as you can see, you can simply measure the distance between this node and other nodes, just like this. Now imagine you have two lines like this, I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna duplicate it, hit Ctrl D or Command D and move it up like that. And imagine you wanna close this path. So you wanna connect these two nodes and these two nodes together. In that case, you can obviously select the pen tool and just try to connect these two, or you can just select the move tool, select these two nodes and hit Command J or Control J on your keyboard and they will be connected and do the same thing here. And just like this, your custom shape is ready. It's also good to mention that all these primitive shapes are created using simple nodes. So you can basically create all these shapes using the pen tool. Let me show you how. Imagine you have a perfect circle. I'm gonna draw a circle here. And if I hit enter on my keyboard, look what we have. We have four different nodes. Now let's create this circle using the pen tool, a perfect circle. Is it possible? Yes, it is. And it's so simple. So what we need is obviously four nodes. I'm gonna create a node right here. Then I'm gonna hold down the shift key on my keyboard to create a straight line create a node here, then hold down the shift key, create one node here, one node here, and finally close the path to create a simple square, right? So we have four nodes, now we need to bend them. To do that, you can head over to the vector section and just change this option to mirror angle and length. It's so important. Hold down the command key on your keyboard or the control key to select the bend tool and just left click here once left click here once, here and here. And just like this, we created a perfect circle using the pen tool. As you can see, it's quite easy to use the pen tool. You just need to practice a little bit to get used to it. If you wanna practice how to use the pen tool properly, I'm gonna show you a very good and a very fun website to use. It's called the Bezier Game. This website allows you to master the pen tool. So here you can just left click to create a node, then go to this point, to this point. It's basically a tutorial, it's quite simple. Then you can skip the tutorial here and you can use the pen tool to create these advanced shapes. If you wanna master how auto layout works in Figma, make sure to check out this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Figma tutorials like this. Have an awesome day and see you soon.